All right, so are you guys ready now? Or let's have a one minute water break. So if you would like to go to bathroom, then uh, you may go now. Uh, we'll wait for you uh, in a minute. And then we'll resume our discussion at exactly 9.29. Okay, so I guess uh, that's uh, plenty enough already. And uh, to those who are already here, so do you guys have a question so far? Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, I just made uh, some changes, okay? uh, some arrangement, and then uh, some additional uh, pictures with the uh, module delta to y and then y to delta transformation. So just download this one again, okay? Just re-download this one again, okay? If ever that you have already downloaded this one before. So just download this one again since I made some changes a while ago. Okay, I just put some uh, uh, highlighted text and some uh, text, I mean, some uh, uh, pictures like this one, okay, our figures. So I, I, I added those uh, pictures right here uh, for our uh, easier uh, solving uh, some examples. So we don't need to scroll back and then uh, see the original uh, schematic again. Well, anyway, so I hope you guys are already in front of your computer. So just give me a thumbs up if you guys now are ready to continue our discussion. Just to let me know. Alright, good. So 5 out of 10. Anyway. Alright, so going back with our uh, analysis. So uh, again, for this one, this is what we have come up with uh, for us to see that, you know, after transforming this delta into y, we still have the same uh, value or result, okay? So uh, in here, uh, we have to assume actually, okay? So we are now like removing some of the original uh, uh, variables or configuration. So in here, we will assume that terminal Z isn't connected to anything, this one, and then uh, the current on the RT at the same time is also uh, zero, okay? So why are we doing that one? Because we cannot, again, we cannot solve this one if uh, we have this complete uh, node of three right here. We cannot simplify this one using series uh, parallel equation, okay? So uh, for us to be able to solve this one using a series and parallel uh, connection, we have to uh, remove one node, okay, which is the Z uh, terminal right here, okay? So once we've done that, then we can now uh, solve for the equivalence of this left side into the right side, okay? So in here, if we are going to remove this one, then uh, this connection right here is now in series connection, the RC, and then this RB and RA is now in parallel, okay? So it's now like having this kind of circuit right here. Oops, the uh, pi connection. But of course, again, let's solve this one if we have uh, uh, values right here on the uh, node or, or, or those two nodes, okay? But for this one, it is now possible because we have removed uh, uh, this uh, terminal zero right here. Or we, we, we are assuming that there is no current that is flowing in there, okay? So the same with this one, since we don't have a current that is flowing on R3, then we can just simply say that X and Y is in a series connection. We're in R1 plus R2. But in here, we have to, you know, uh, conduct uh, RC times RA plus RB divided by uh, RC uh, plus uh, RB plus RA. 
okay, in which it will give us this equation right here, okay. So on the y side, okay, right here, y side, we have r1 plus r2 only, okay, because again, we have assumed that uh, this terminal right here is a uh, zero, okay, so you can just simply add them, okay, that's the total equivalent uh, resistance of the y. And then for the uh, uh, delta connection, so uh, again, apply parallel connection with this one first, which is Ra plus Rb divided by, uh, wait, Ra plus Rb, Rc plus Ra. Hmm, why is it quite the opposite? Let me just check because it's like having a series connection right here. And then we are now parallel with Rc. Yeah. Ra plus Rb. But if we are going to... Hmm. Ah, I see. All right, since we have uh, a node in here, wherein this is actually where the source is coming from. So uh, initially we have source connected right here and then we have sources coming from here, okay? So we cannot touch this one, okay? So uh, since this one is now the remaining source after removing the Z terminal right here, then uh, from here, we can add those two in series since we have another uh, source right here, uh, since uh, it's like, you know, having a short circuit connection right here. So uh, that's what happened when uh, we removed the terminal Z. So maybe that's the reason why uh, they are now like in a series connection. So that is why we have RA plus RB and then uh, RA uh, plus RB right here. Okay. And yeah, after having this one, then you can now perform a uh, parallel connection with RC, okay? Which is now uh, the same uh, with this entire equation right here. But don't you guys worry, that is just the analysis that you have come up with. Wherein after solving this one, and then after solving this one, you will get the same result, okay? So no need to uh, worry about on how to come up with this uh, kind of equation and how to come up with this kind of equation, okay? So this is just the idea that you have come up with to say that this one is equal with this uh, configuration after transforming it, okay? So the real uh, formula on how to transform a delta to y transformation is this equation right here, okay? So in order for us to uh, solve the R1, okay, so let me just get this one because with this, it is a lot easier, okay? All right, so if you wanted to solve for the R1, just label this one uh, as your R1, R2, and then R3, okay? So we will be able to get the value of R1 with this uh, node X right here, okay? So that is why we will start with RB what is that one? Rb times Rc, okay? Divided by Ra plus Rb plus Rc. For the, for the denominator, uh, everything is the same, okay? So uh, you will just add uh, all of the values of your resistors. But if you want to get the R1, so it is now uh, between those two uh, branch right here, okay, on this node X, which is now the Rc times Rb, okay? R1 is equal to Rc times Rb divided by uh, the total uh, resistance of your uh, Ra, Rb, and Rc. Okay, Ra, Rb plus Rc. Okay, and then if you want to solve for the R2, okay, then it's now on this node. Okay, so again, we are dealing with this uh, branch right here and then this branch right here. So in here, we could say Rc times Ra or Ra times Rc, either of those two. And then the same with the denominator. So Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Okay, nothing will change. And then for the R3, then we are now dealing with this uh, branch right here and then this branch right here. So we need 
RA times RB divided by RA plus RB plus RC. Okay? So, quite simple. And then you will now have this kind of configuration. So this is now your R1, this is now your R2, and then this is now your R3, okay? So you can actually draw also a connection right here. Okay, so this is your R1, R2, and then R3, okay? So you can also do that one, but in my case, I uh, put the labels on the uh, outer part because I always do this one. So this part right here and then this part right here. But if you have this R1, then you're dealing with this RC and then RB right here. So it is now your own uh, technique or style on how to convert this uh, delta into a Y transformation, okay? So uh, are we clear so far on how to convert uh, delta to Y? Hello, hello. So just focus on this formula, okay? So again, you don't need to worry about uh, this uh, initial formula. This is just the concept, okay? The way of explaining that this one is equal with this one, okay? After solving this one. The real formula that you need to uh, worry about is this formula right here on how to get the R1, R2, and R3, okay? So this is just uh, transforming the delta to y. And then for the y to delta, okay, we now have this kind of equation, okay, which is quite uh, uh, easy also or quite confusing at first. But once you've learned the, uh, call this one, once you've learned the pattern, you will already uh, know that uh, this one is also super uh, simple. Okay, so in order for us to get the r sub a right here, okay, just get the r sub 1 plus r sub 2, okay, plus r sub 2 plus r sub 3. I mean, plus r sub 2 times r sub 3, and then plus r sub 3 times uh, r sub 1. So one thing that you will notice in, uh, in here, uh, your numerator is uh, the same in everything, okay? If you're going to solve for the RA, the same numerator. If you're going to solve for the RB, the same numerator. If you're going to solve for the RC, the same numerator, okay? It's just that, uh, you know, uh, let's say that this is your uh, RA, okay? Uh, medyo magulo pag ganun eh. Pero, let's have another uh, approach in order for us to get the R sub A. So, in here, uh, bef in here, if you want to get the uh, R sub A, okay, just go to uh, node X, and then wherever is that, okay, Put here R sub A. Okay, parang nakapin point pa rin siya doon. Okay, where in this one is still R sub A. Okay, so that's the uh, pattern that I can give to you guys. And then if you wanted to solve for the R sub B, so go to node Y, okay, R sub B. Okay, and then right here we have R sub B. Okay, and then if you want to solve for the R3, so go to node Z, and then right here, of course, we have. R, C, and then this part right here is your R, C, okay? So, yeah, that's basically it uh, when it comes to solving for R, E, R, B, and R sub C. But uh, in here, I will remove this one for you to be able to see the uh, pattern wherein our uh, formula is connected with this one. Okay, let me get this formula right here. All right, so as you guys can see, we are solving for the RA, okay? And then we are dividing that one divided by R1, okay? This node X right here, okay? So that is why we have this R1 right here, okay? And then the same with RB. So we are dealing with this node Y right here, okay? So uh, that's the only thing that you need to uh, put in here, okay? Which is divided to R2. And then for the R3, so we are dealing with this node right here, node Z. 
So we just go and divide that R3 right here. And then you will now get the value of your RC and then uh, RE and then RB, okay, which is now this one. All right. So are you guys quite confused? Because if you're going to take a look on this one, okay, your I, uh, your RA was, uh, is on the bottom uh, left. So that is the reason why I put it on the bottom, uh, wait, bottom left, bottom right, okay, which is now this one, okay. And then for the RB, it's on the bottom left. So that is why I put it right here instead of uh, this node wire right here, okay. And then for the uh, RC, Okay, just invert that one, and then you will get this one right here. Ah, no need to invert because the value of RC is already here. So yeah, we have the, uh, uh, call this one, the correct uh, arrangement. So RC, RE, and then RB, okay? But if you can find another way uh, for you to be able to familiarize the uh, Y to delta, okay, then you can do that one as long as you will uh, have the same result. But in my case, I do this one. So uh, R1 is always equal with X, okay? Okay, or RA is equal uh, with X. So those three are uh, uh, always equal with each other. And then for the R2, it is equal with Y, okay? Or the RB, okay? And then for the R3, this one is equal with Z, okay? Or my RC. Okay, so it is now up to you on how you will uh, familiarize this uh, logic right here. Okay, so yeah, but my approach is something like this. Okay, so node X is RA or R1, and then uh, R2 is node Y or RB, and then uh, R3 okay, is node Z or this RC right here, okay, the single line. All right, so did you guys get the idea so far using my own approach? Okay, but you can find another ways on how to solve this one uh, on YouTube, okay? But uh, this is just my way, okay? Showing to you on how I solve a Y to Delta. For the Delta to Y, I guess um, most of us have the same approach since uh, it's quite uh, easy to understand. So uh, R1 again is uh, with X right here, dealing with RB and RC. Okay, R2 is RE and RC, and then R3 is RB and RE. But for this one, uh, numerator is the same, uh, only the denominator. Okay, so again, RE is equal to R1, RB is equal to R2, and then RC is equal to R3. Okay, so do not interchange those. If you're trying to solve for the RC, you should get the value of R3. Okay, because if you will do that one, then you will get an incorrect answer. So that is why I always have this one in mind. R1 is equal to hex and equals to RA also at the same time. So all you need to do is memorize this one. And then apply uh, this concept right here. Okay, so question so far? Hello. So anyone who got the idea on how to solve Y to Delta? Or uh, still uh, confused? Okay, let me call you guys one by one. Mr. Rava, you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so how was your analysis in uh, 
delta to y. I mean, y to delta. Okay, ito. Did you get this one so far? Yes, sir. Pa, uh, more examples na lang po ang kulang. Mm, I see. Okay. So later on, we'll have an example. Uh, how about Miss Jade Ventura? Hmm. Ata siya. How about Mr. Awas? Medyo gets naman ni siya. Medyo. Okay. okay, that's good. Mr. Tombok? Gets naman, sir. Okay, Miss, Miss Kate? Gets po, sir. Sure kayo, ha? Oh, may tawa yun na. Mukhang hindi yun, ha? Miss Maxine? Mali yata to. Mr. Janelle? Gets naman, sir. More sa ano na lang. Application na lang ng formula. Okay, sige. Mr. Labsad? Wala rin yata ito. Miss Abigail? Okay. All right, so most of you maybe only needs a real application. So let's have a real short example, okay, with values, of course. So in here, we're going to transform or we're going to prove that uh, this delta is correct with this values right here, okay? So uh, in here, we have the uh, R1, okay? So again, in order, for, in order for us to solve for the R1, so get this part right here. Pero it uh, doesn't matter na kasi since uh, all of them have the same values. But anyway, so we have this formula, RB times RC. Okay, this part right here, divided by RA plus RB plus RC. So as you guys can see, we have uh, everything's the same. Okay, uh, 1 ohms. Okay, so I'll leave to you guys uh, the analysis since uh, hindi ko siya ma-explain kasi pare parehas yung values. But yeah, there's the uh, quick uh, application on how to convert uh, delta to y. Okay. So for the denominator, okay, when transforming delta to y, so it's always the same. Okay. So it's the total summation of your uh, resistance. But for the numerator, so that one now depends if you are trying to solve for the r1, r2, and then RP, okay? So you're dealing with two uh, branch right here. So RB times RC, RA times RC, and then RA times RB. But yeah, that is a real quick example. And then let's have uh, the opposite of this one, which is the Y to delta. So just by applying this one, RA is equal to R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R3 times R1. Again, everything in here, okay, uh, on the uh, numerator is the same, okay? The only one that differs is the denominator, okay? So if you're trying to solve for the RA, again, uh, you should divide it by uh, R1, okay? If you're trying to get the RB, you should divide it by R2. If you're, uh, you know, trying to solve for the RC, uh, RC, then you should divide it by R3, okay? in which it will give you this result, okay? Which is just correct, of course. So are we clear so far with this quick example? So we can have a harder and much more realistic example. So just give me a thumbs up if you guys are good with this one already. Okay, one, two. What about the others? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. Maybe the others are just not around. Anyway, so let's have another example, okay, which is uh, much, much more realistic. So we have a node right here and then another uh, node right here. So this is a perfect example 
okay, on, you know, uh, dealing with a complicated circuit, okay? So as you guys can see right here, we cannot just simply, uh, you know, simplify, simplify this one using a parallel connection because we don't even know if we will uh, start with this four divided, I mean, four times five divided by four plus five or uh, four uh, times three divided by four plus three right here. So we don't know, okay? So in here, we have to convert this one Okay, using a uh, delta configuration. So this one is actually a double delta configuration. We have the upper part and then the bottom part of this one. But uh, in here, we'll just start with the bottom part, okay? So you can also, uh, you know, start with the upper part, but mostly we always start with the uh, bottom. So uh, that one depends on you. So those two are uh, uh, correct. So after redrawing, then you can now solve for the uh, values of the uh, Y configuration right here, okay? So again, we will uh, deal or we will uh, we go to work on the bottom uh, delta, okay? So in here, uh, after labeling this one uh, into RA, RB, and RC, okay? And then node X, Y, and Z, okay? So you don't, uh, you, you must not change the, uh, you know, the fixed labelings of this one, okay? Wherever is the RA, it should stay uh, in there, okay? It's on the bottom right, okay? You cannot put the RA right here and then put the uh, RB right here and then RC right here. Well, you can do that one, but that will cause confusion, especially if you are applying this one, this formula right here. So if you have changed that, you know, uh, RA will be, will be placed right here, then you have to do some revisions on the original formula. Okay, this one, this one, and then this one. Okay, so that is why you should not change the uh, positionings for the uh, wherever it is. You know the the, the variables of the R A R B and R C. The same with our nodes uh, namings. Okay, so it's always aligned. Okay, this X right here is always aligned with uh, R A, okay, or parallel with R A. Y is parallel with RB, and then RC is parallel with uh, Z, okay? So that's always their uh, configuration or uh, the way uh, they are being uh, uh, assigned to each node, okay? So in here, after uh, having this uh, idea that you have to convert uh, this one into Y transformation, then all you need to do is get the formula. Okay, on how to get the R1, R2, and R3, okay? So in here, of course, we're going to use this one, okay? We will not be needing this one since we already have the existing value of RA, RB, and RC. So this is the only thing that we need, okay? So in here, if we are going to solve for this one, okay, let me... Let me get this one and then let's have our own example, I mean, solution. All right, so uh, again, when we wanted to get the value of your R sub one, okay, which is this one, R sub one, R sub two, and then R sub three, okay? Or R sub one right here, R sub two right here, and then R sub three right here. So uh, that depends you on where you wanted to place uh, the variables. But in my case, I always put it outside uh, since, you know, uh, that's my way of doing it. So if we wanted to solve for, uh, solve for the uh, R1, then we have to deal with these two uh, branch right here, the RB and RC. So again, RB times RC divided by RA plus RB plus RC, okay? So RB times RC is, oops, five times three divided by, so RA is four plus five plus three, okay? So five times three is 15, four plus five is nine divided by uh, plus three is 12. So 15 divided by 12 is, what is the result? Let's see, 1.25. So sorry, I'll not use my calculator anymore since uh, we're quite in a hurry. We now only have seven minutes left. And then for the R2, so the same idea. So we are dealing with the 
uh, this branch right here and then this branch right here. So it's RC times RA. So I will not write this one anymore. Okay, I'll go straight with this one. So 3 times 4 divided by uh, 12. So again, our denominator uh, is always the same. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 divided by 12 is 1. Okay. 1.25 ohm, 1 ohm. And then for the R3, we have here uh, this branch and then this branch. 5 ohms and then 4 ohms. So 5 times 4 divided by 12. 5 times 4 is 20. Hirap naman yan. Wala na space. Okay. So in here, 20 divided by 12 is, oops, 20 divided by 12 is 1.66. 1 1.66 ohms. So there you go. We now have the values of your R1, R2, and R3. And you can now put the values right here or uh, transform it in uh, into something like this. So we have 1.25, 1 ohm, and then 1.66 ohms. Okay. All right, so, but before that, uh, did you guys get the idea on how I've got those results? 1.25, 1 ohm, and then 1.66. Okay. So, again, just follow what I did, you know, with those two branches. RBRC, RERC, RERB, and then the same denominators, you will get those results right here. All right, then after that, you can now replace uh, the bottom side into a, a Y connection, just like this. We have the X and Y and Z right here, still the same. But the R1 is right here, and then the R2 is right here, and then the R3 is right here, okay? Which is the same with this one. Okay, R1, R2, R3. So after that, uh, you can transform this one into something like this. So you can see, or you will see that they are now actually in series connection. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 3.125 plus 1.25 is, uh, I don't know the value. But yeah, just add those two. And then after that, you can now uh, perform a parallel connection right here. So after solving the par parallel connection with this uh part right here, then you can now add uh, it uh, with 1.66, okay? So yeah, there you go. So 3.125 plus 1.25 is 4.375, and then 4 ohms plus 1 ohm is 5 ohms, okay? And then just apply a parallel connection with those two, okay? And then you will get 2.33 ohms, and then once you have solved that one, then they are now in a single uh, see this connection. So 2.33 plus 1.66. Oops, I forgot to highlight this one. Anyway, 2.33 plus 1.66 will give us 4 ohms. Okay, which is now this one. Okay, so that is now the simplified version of this uh, node right here. So we could say that uh, it is the total resistance of this uh, example. Okay arriving into a 4 ohm uh, resistance. So were you guys able to follow? Okay. What about the others? Well, anyway, uh, all of the explanations and then all of the uh, solutions are included in here so you will not loss okay so try also solving this upper part okay if you will arrive with the same result with four ohms so yeah that's it for the uh delta to y transformation so delta to y transformations are another tool in your bag of tricks for simplifying circuits prior to detailed analysis so do not memorize the transformation equations. If the need arises, you can look them up. So yes, yeah, since we are always in, uh, you know, open notes uh, format, since you know we are in uh, online distance learning. So yeah, no need to memorize. Just learn the concept. Okay. 
anyway, so uh, for the reference of this one, so this one came from Khan Academy. So take note, Khan Academy is one that even came from All About Circuits. Okay, and then uh, other related uh, uh, article. So you can also visit All About Circuits, Spinning Numbers, and uh, another All About Circuits, but maybe just a different uh, uh, example or uh, approach. Okay, so for the videos, you can uh, watch this one, okay, for the English version. So we have Delta to Star or uh, Delta to Y or uh, Y to Delta. Okay, and then for the uh, Tagalog video, okay, you can uh, watch uh, this one right here. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for uh, Delta to Y and then Y to Delta transformation. So, of course, you're going to have a quiz again for those uh, two modules. So, I haven't created them yet. So, just uh, wait maybe one day or maybe tonight. Uh, I will upload uh, the quizzes for the uh, Delta to Y and then the, what is the other one? Source transformation. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for today. Do you guys have a question so far? So, maybe none for now. But then again, so if ever that you have a question in the future, so feel free to ask me anytime, okay? You can always message me on my Canvas account or my Facebook account. So uh, if I'm not busy, then uh, I will reply and then I will help you. Uh, lab number six, why? What happened with your lab number six? Ah, uh, hindi ko pa ba na, pa yata na convert ah. Yeah. So I forget to do that one. Okay, let me just check. Wala pa nga yata talaga yun. Lab number six. Oo, wala pa. So, uh, I will do this one later. Okay, since this one is uh, not uh, converted yet into a quiz format. So, uh, I have to do this one first. Check ko nga. Yeah, file upload pa lang siya. Alright. So, thank you for that one, uh, Miss Abigail. So, just uh, do whatever you... Uh, ano ba tawag dito? Just save whatever you have. Okay? And then, 